Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to set up an IoT network on our Unify Pi Hole Raspberry Pi and have that network use the Pi Hole as its DNS server. So to get started, we are going to jump over to our Unify controller and create a new network. That new network will be called IoT. It will be a corporate network and we'll give it a VLAN ID of VLAN 69 with the gateway address being 192.168.69.1 slash 24. And now we can go ahead and update DHCP range. We're gonna leave IGMP snooping off. We're happy with the DHCP range. We want the DHCP name server, also DNS server, to be 192.168.1.2, and then we'll have failover to 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. That's all we have to do to set up the network. Now we should also set up the wireless network that goes along and connects to our IoT main network. So we'll do, we'll name it IoT. This is a WPA personal. And so just give it a decent password. You can go at enterprise. Um, I think personal is just fine for this. So we need advanced options and use VLAN 69 to tie it to our VLAN 69 network. Everything else in here as default is fine. So hit save. Then we're gonna go ahead and jump into services and MDNS and enable MDM multicast MD or DNS, which allows uh, Apple TVs or Chromecasts to talk over VLANs. This turns on the MDNS reflector, not the repeater. The repeater is enabled via a config file that you have to SSH into the Unify controller and is not within the scope of this video at this time. So we'll hit apply changes and then we'll go to routing and firewall, firewall, LAN in and create new rule. And we want allow LAN to all, to all networks. So we're gonna accept all traffic and then the states are new established, invalid and related. So everything that's going on or you can just leave it off, which then therefore sets all of the states. And then we want the source to be our LAN and then address port group we leave as any and any so we'll go ahead and hit save and now we're good our destination is set to any any so we'll create another rule that allows established allow established and related from iot to any so this way, if a device on, say our LAN, or we created maybe a camera network, talks to a device on the IoT network, the IoT network can then respond back to that device that talked to it. So, but here we only want established and related because we don't want IoT to be able to make any requests. So the source is a network and it's IoT, destination is address port group any any we'll go ahead and hit save and then the next one is we need to be able to allow our iot to talk to the dns server so allow first we're going to allow inbound pings to pi hole and we'll accept it and it is TCP and UDP. And we're gonna just leave that the way it is. And 
And what we're going to do is leave the source as any any and the destination. We're going to create an IPv4 and we're going to call it local DNS or you could call it lo local servers uh, IPv4 address 192.168.1.2 save. So now local servers and we're good there so save and then we need to add allow inbound local DNS and accept and this is TCP UDP and we got to go fix the other one I put the wrong one in on the previous rule and this is any and we need it two local servers and port group is DNS so port 53 save and save we'll go back and fix our previous one in here and we want ICMP so it allows ping and the final piece we want to do well there's two more rules we're going to make we're going to allow MDNS to function and then we're going to make sure we set it up so that our IOT junk um, can't can't jump back so we're gonna allow inbound from IOT to MDNS M MDNS on LAN this is a UDP UDP rule we want to allow inbound from IOT to MDNS on LAN over UDP. So IOT, and then we want to create a new IPv4 group and we'll call this LAN main. And our IPv4 address is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 and save. And then we want to create a port group and we'll call this MDNS and we'll add we'll also add bonjour and SSDP and the ports are 1900 5353 and 9000 save and save so the final rule we need to create is to block and log all remaining traffic from IOT. We want drop all, enable logging, and we want it to be network and IOT network LAN. Save. So now all of your rules are set up and we are good to test. So right now I don't have many devices going on. It's provisioning our gateway. So now that I've got my Windows computer here connected uh, to, to the IoT network, we're gonna open a command prop window and we'll do a IF config, IP config, IP config slash all config nothing dash all and we can see our DNS server is correct and that if we go our wireless we have we are on 69.6 so if I were to ping 192.168.1. Well, let's see here on our client side. My air is dot eight. It can't ping it. 
but can I ping dot two? Not a problem at all. So our DNS is functioning. We can ping uh, to our DNS server. So let's, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see if our pie hole is functioning and we'll go out to say um, nytimes.com and we're not getting any of the ads that would be on this page. So if we go to our Pi Hole admin console and we refresh the page, we'll log in and log in with the password we had set. That setup. We can see we have client activity uh, all the domains blocked and here's our different clients and you can see here's my 69.6 which is my um, surface here and then my laptop as well as localhost has made some attempts at it so piehole is working on our iot network as well if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those down in the comment section if you've enjoyed this video please consider hitting the thumbs up button the like button and subscribing to the channel for more content like this and click the bell icon for notifications when i post new content thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one see ya